Hi Habibis, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today, we're gonna do a travel tray, meaning what perfumes did I bring with me on my trip to New York? So we're gonna go over that. But before we um, do that, I just wanted to show you guys quick. I'm not gonna show you what's in the bag, so. But um, I recently did, a, I guess you call it a fragrance vlog. I, I don't know what you would call it. But anyway, I guess a shop with me. Um, I went to Mason Sears. This was totally unplanned. I was just walking in Soho and just the stunning look of the store, how elegant it was, just drew me in. And I hadn't heard of Mason Sear only once, and I think it was from Sebastian. So it's not something that was top of mind. So even if a person doesn't know what it is, just the place is so visually stunning that it will naturally just draw you in. And that's exactly what had happened. I was walking and it just caught my eye. And the person I was working with in the store, her name is Jennifer. I highly recommend if you live in New York, if you are visiting New York, to go to Mason's here um, and um, definitely work with Jennifer and I think you're going to be very happy and there's a few things in there and I'll be going over that in a separate video. And over here, we have a couple things from Scent Bar as well. Again, highly recommend if you're visiting New York or are live in the New York area that you go to Scent Bar. It is associated to Lucky Scent. Um, it's a perfume lover's dream. You can literally go in there and sniff about. Okay, now back to the perfumes. So these are the ones that I put, um, obviously I, I checked these ones in with my um, luggage, but the ones that I brought with me on the train, I just wanted to go over these really quickly. These are my travel sprays and I am not working with Scentbird. They don't know who I am, obviously. So, but I just wanted to go over the items quickly. I really do love Scentbird and I generally do use them. Okay, so the first one here we have is Rag and Bone Bergamot. So this one, I decided to get the travel spray because I have the full bottle. I rebought the full bottle and I've had, I've had used multiple bottles of this over the years. Um, I really don't hear anybody talk about it. Rag and Bone is a clothing store in New York. I don't know if it's anywhere else, but you can get their stuff online. The problem with this, it is a little pricey. It's $150 for 50 ml, but I highly recommend it. It is a dry, bergamot, uh, slightly peppery, pedigree smell. It's an excellent, um, sophisticated smell where you want to smell slightly serious, but very pretty at the same time. Um, like if you're going to an attorney's office or something, this is what I would wear. That, that's exactly what I'm going to wear to my attorney's office. So it smells nice, but it's not distracting and it smells sophisticated. So again, rag and bone bergamot. So if you don't want to spend $150 on a 50 ml perfume because you're not able to go into the store to smell it, I'm so excited now that they have one of my most favorite perfumes of all time on Scentbird. So rag and bone bergamot. So if you want to be safe and just... Um, go try it out. I highly recommend this. So Rag and Bone Bergamot. Another one I think was um, a featured one for this month. It is Nanette Lepore, I believe. And this one is called... Yeah, I think it's just called Nanette. It doesn't say the name. It just says Nanette Lepore. But this is a a melony, fruity, slightly floral scent, perfect for spring. I really enjoyed putting this on my skin. I want to do a full day wear test. Next one, again, from Scentbird. And I keep accidentally calling this West 12th. This is East 12th, not West 12th. West 12th is the one in the black bottle. Um, this is East 12th. I showed this also in my Rose Collection video. I'm obsessed with this scent, and this is going to be a full bottle for me. It's exclusive to Scentbird. This is from Ashley Benson, East 12th. It is, a, I, I guess you could say like a citrusy, sharp, fresh rose scent. Great for spring. Just really great mood uplifting. I highly recommend it, and I'm, this is going to be a full bottle for me. Um, and another one that I brought on the plane... Um, I'm testing on my way. One of you asked me to review this, so that's what I'm doing. I'm testing it out. It's like a white floral sweet scent. I'm still kind of on the fence on how I feel about this. And I'm going to be comparing it to Maillard by La Taffa. Um, so that's my way. And the last travel size that I had with me on the plane. Rose by Ellis Brooklyn. What in the world took me so long to find this perfume. I mean, I've saw it over the years, but for some reason I, I I could not explain to you why I did not buy it. This is full bottle worthy. It is a fresh, 
green, slightly soapy rose scent. Oh my goodness, this just, just, it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, now onto the full bottles, the ones that I brought with me to wear in New York. Um, this one, I can't get enough. I cannot, I can't, even the weight of the bottle. First of all, the bottle itself is absolutely just, look at that. This is La Capital by Zerjoff. And this is a sweet, sophisticated, smooth scent. For me, it leans very sweet, very feminine. There, the leather comes off more smooth, more suede-like for me, I would think. Um, and there's a strawberry note in here. Again, this is not a review, but I'm really enjoying this. And when I went to the headquarters yesterday, I wore this. Um, it is so elegant, so elegant. Oh my, but this is pricey, so do not blind by this. Um, the next one up, I've been obsessed with, as you can see, way the dent here. This is Swiss Arabian. It's called Wedged, one that I don't think anybody talks about. Um, oh my God. Oh my God. See, I, I, I definitely want to do fobs after the haul because I, I recently put this in my last haul, I think about a month ago. And I think this is one of the best rose scents. And I feel like even if you don't like rose scents, this is still a safe blind buy. Yes, I'm, I'm actually going to say this is a safe blind buy. First of all, it's about $60 or $59 thereabouts. It's from Swiss Arabian. It comes off more like a vanilla booziness to me. Um, there is rose, but I think it's because it's there. Again, there's no boozy notes in there, but there's like this vanilla sweetness in there that just, and there is patchouli, but it's smooth and it's in the background and there's resins. It is just... I got, I get a lot of compliments on this and I get a lot of compliments on this. It's just, and it's strong and it lasts and it projects and you don't need that much. Uh, this is amazing. Wedge by Swiss Arabian, a vanillic boozy rose scent. And again, no boozy notes no, noted. I'm just telling you what it smells like to my nose. Another one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. This one came out, I think, mid last year from 2022. It's Melody of the Sun. First of all, how poetic is that name? Melody of the Sun. I'm a huge Mansara lover. I love this one. I think I heard somebody say that they think it smells like Sicily. I have Sicily as well. And again, everything plays differently on everybody. Everybody has their own nose, their own opinion. It 100% to me does not smell like Sicily at all. This is a citrusy, creamy, green, fresh, happy, mood uplifting scent for me and i think it's that osmanthus and that musk that makes it creamy whereas sicily is more bright um to me they're absolutely nothing like other than that both that the fact that they have citrus at least on my skin this comes out very creamy um yeah it, that, it's, it's that osmanthus note that just really does it for me and it's very green very um citrusy but not like a sharp citrus because i think osmanthus in the um must kind of round it out and there's also this fantastic green tea note in there is it green tea it's some kind of tea note in there which is unexpectedly really amazing and i do detect it right off the bat but it's so done well done and at least to me this is a very happy scent and the next one up if you're watch any of my videos i think this should be absolutely no shock to you this is shakhaf by swiss arabian i discover the scent completely by accident. I actually did not mean to buy it. That's how you know you have shopping issues, but it was one of the best mistakes that I made. It has praline in it. It's citrus, lemon, and lime. There's lotus in it, and there's like a crisp apple, and obviously there is musk. And this, you know, it's a 50-50. Some of you like it, some of you, some of you love it, some of you don't like it. And I put this on my strong perfume list, and a lot of you, I think when I looked into Amazon, a lot of people were saying it doesn't last long. And I think one of you had told me it doesn't last long in you in my comments. Here's the thing. Perfume is subjective. You know how when you go into Fragrantica, I'm going to tell you a little bit something about the way my skin works. It's like a magnet for fragrance and it's not an exaggeration. You know how when you go into Fragrantica and you see how people list um, how the perfume lasts on them and there's that minority that always says that things are lasting forever on them, right? Even for things that people say, oh my God, it doesn't last. It lasts for two seconds. People are saying this lasts one hour. I'm telling you, for me, it lasts 
five to six hours and it's strong. People smell me and I get compliments, okay? It is what it is. Uh, I, I don't know, I, I don't think it's genetics. I think it's literally just the, the nutrition routine that I have. So I have really strong skin that magnetizes the perfume to my skin. So what may disappear on your skin in 30 minutes or right away or one hour gets stuck to my skin. So much so that sometimes I don't understand how strong I, I can smell because the perfume is literally it's sitting on my skin. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, it does, a perfume does what it needs to do on my skin is what I'm trying to say. So I'm gonna link that video down below. I'm not gonna be a gatekeeper. I've been saying this for months and months and months. I've had different videos on it. Um, and I, I know other, you know, YouTubers wanna act like they're not seeing me, but I know they're, you know, implementing it and just not shouting me out, but it's cool, it's cool. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna link that video down below if you have trouble with perfume lasting on your skin or perfumes doing weird things on your skin, just, I'm gonna link it down below, watch it and you're welcome. Okay, next one up, I'll be wearing in New York, another one of my loves, but for me, this actually kicks this one out. So Rose one, but the wedge is number one for me. Oh my goodness, it's just, so Sarabia needs to stop it because they're taking all my money. This is Rose one, this is a very fresh, to me, slightly green nose, uh, slightly green to my nose. Um, rose scent. It's sort of like Atomic Rose. I have Atomic Rose, and I, I don't know. I just like I feel like what happens with really popular perfumes, we seek to find, and I guess because our brain naturally wants to categorize things, it's hard for us to just appreciate something for what it is. Does it have similarity to Atomic Rose? Sure, but it, to my nose, it's not a dupe, and it's it's its own beauty, and unfortunately, it's, I don't know, sometimes things are similar, and then they unfortunately get clumped together, but this is very similar to Atomic Rose, but to me, this is a beauty all on its own, so I highly recommend this, and again, that runs about $60, and another one just for easy morning spray, this is Elizabeth Arden Green Tea Pomegranate. It's green tea pomegranate. Um, I think there's a little bit citrusy-ish. It's, I think, musky as well, at least on my skin. It obviously doesn't last long because it's a great morning scent. Really been enjoying this. So Elizabeth Arden, this is some, I think it's about $13 on Fragrance Net. So enjoying that for the morning for Mood Uplifter. And another one that I've been obsessed with. Oh my goodness. And look at the bottle. Look at the bottle. Look at the bottle. And it's so heavy. I don't know if you can see how, like hear how heavy it is and how much I've used. Hold on. Do you hear that dent? Do you hear that dent? Um, apparently this is um, a dupe of Musk Therapy by Initio. I have several Initio perfumes, but the reason why I'm not going to spend the money on the original Initio for this is because I heard that it sits closer to the skin. I am not, and I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again. I am not gonna spend over $300 on a perfume that sits close to my skin, it's not gonna happen. If I do, it better slap. It better slap the people in the face when I wear it, okay? So with all of that said, this is a fresh, musky perfume, slightly um, fruity, slightly citrusy, just such a, a appealing scent. I love wearing this, and I'm excited to wear it this spring and summer because I feel like it's really gonna bloom on my skin. Obsessed with this, I just, I, it's so annoying that you can't see it, but like, can you hear that dent? Can you can you hear it's washing around in there? And the last one up um, for New York is Jo Malone Mirantanka Intense Cologne Intense. I struggle with Jo Malone because a lot of the perfumes have serious longevity issues. So yeah, yeah, that's just kind of my issue with them. But with all of that said, Mirantanka Intense does last better than the other Jo Malone perfumes. This is a woody, sweet, resiny, vanillic perfume. It's leaning slightly masculine, if I had to say, just a little bit. It's unisex, I think. Um, but wear what you want, do whatever you want. If it makes you happy, just wear it. But it leans slightly masculine, because I think of that, that I think 
it comes off woody but it's also sweet like a sweet resin and i think it's that mirror that comes off very sweet and there's obviously tonka and obviously vanilla and i definitely get that on my skin and this is very enjoyable really enjoyable but yeah so i don't want to make this too long just wanted to share with you guys what items i brought with me on my trip to new york and i will be doing a video on this what i got from mason zier again shout out to jennifer she was amazing and i'll be going over what i got at the scent bar and my travel space that I had with me on the plane again i do not work with scent bar they literally don't know i exist okay but that's how you know my review is honest because they don't know who i am they did not give this to me so i'm telling you it's a really good subscription service i highly recommend that you get it okay especially if you travel a lot for business or whatever the case may be i highly suggest you get a scent bird subscription all right thank you so much for being here my friends i will be talking to you guys soon and just a gentle reminder the sweetest fragrance we will ever wear are not these perfumes but our behavior and another gentle reminder please find somebody to thank today even as for something small and more importantly take a moment to thank god because if you're here watching this video that means we made it into yet another day and even with our trials and tribulations god is great thank you my friend bye